Alright, what's up YouTube? This is a quick little... I'm gonna go into more depth the sniper rifle because if I ship it to you, it's not gonna come with a manual and that's my fault. I mainly build it from scratch, which means that, you know, you don't order this body piece and it comes with a manual for the whole gun. I assure you these parts fit perfectly together and it's just a matter of fidgeting and getting them in. So, I'm going to take it apart do the exact same things I'm doing except backwards. First things first. Screw here. Screw here. Take them out. Technically, when you're putting them apart, you're going to want to tighten them. However, this one's going to drop into place and you're going to unscrew it. Or actually, you're going to tighten it, but you'll feel it drop into place. It's between two bars, which I will show you. Now this one tightens a little bit more than the other one, since so it has to go in deeper. And then this one you just have to unscrew. And you'll know you're doing this right if you immediately, I recommend doing the one I did first and this one second. That way you know you're on the roll. So that's about it. And now flip it over. And just lift up and slide it out this way. out this way. Now me to do this is so thing to tip this way because it's more the weight is balanced here to compensate for all this. This is metal, this is plastic. This is the part that shoots and I want to show you one thing I did for you guys. Notice how the trigger pulls. Trigger pulls but, but if the bolt is up I put it in the safety so that you cannot pull the trigger. Which means that you can't cock it and slam it back forward and have it up and you can't pull it and break your spring. This bolt catch has to be down. Safety is right here. Fire, safe. Fire, safe. Fire also doesn't work on here. It's auto build safety. You're welcome. So that's your main body part. You don't necessarily need it. So you have this part. Now there's a weight right here. You can take it out if you want. Now as I said, the screw is right here. Those two bars, screws in the middle here. And the screw, the more obvious screw is right there. Right there. So now, you're probably asking what this part is. This is how you mount the bipod on. And you do that by the following. And when you put it on, there's a, you'll see a Phillips head screw. Don't touch it. Do not touch the Phillips head screw. This whole thing just screws out, right? So when you're putting it on, you want to do this. This screws out, this anchors this piece. You'll need, I'm going to put this in here. You need this part out. This is the hard part. Now you'll notice that this part just came off. Alright, you so you heard that drop. This part came off. However, there's a little bar that goes bet in between those two through there to anchor it to here, which I'm going to get right now. Um, excuse me. And I don't know where it is. Never mind. How's that for pro? All right, you'll need this little bar screw, and you just put it in, and it slides in like that. You'll need to keep hold of that. This doesn't come off unless you undo that Allen screw. Don't undo that. I will ship it like this. It ships like this for a reason. Do not undo this, and then the one on the side to take this off. It, it, it's okay if it stays on. You'll hear the pin rattling around. It'll move up and down. That's actually the washer, but it won't come out, hopefully. If it does come out, I just had to immediately check the packaging. Make sure you have your first and second screw in this main part. Now for the scope. The scope, when I ship it, has to ship like this. Notice there's no rings on it to mount to anything. So you'll need these rings. What you should do, I put the thing down, I line this up perfectly at a 90 angle, where to zoom in I have to tilt this way. So it's not like this. Zoom so have to tilt this way. So that the three, when you have it defaulted, is not facing up, it's facing that way. That's how you normally know it's right. Take your top piece, and you want to put it on. And there's two Allen screws, and they're in the original shipping box, which is right below me. You can see part of it over there. You're just going to basically put the screws in, tighten them, and then do the same thing again. Now, they actually mount this. Wow, what does it mean, dropping stuff? Christ. So mount this to the actual rail. Let's unscrew this thing and find the weaver rails 
which are these these rails right here and just put it on and then tighten the thing again do this one handed and notice how it'll move but it cannot come off it's okay if it moves back and forth that's that's perfectly fine now you can adjust these rails so like you can have you know the back one here and the front one right there so you can get maximum scope toward you or you can have the front one up here uh, it's really your preference but I recommend you put a 9 degree angle unless you want to shoot down an X. And I have seen some people prefer the X. I don't because when I use bullet drop, I can't calculate the hypotenuse from 3 mil dots to 3 mil dots. It's not going to work. That's a math term for you children out there. Alright, so that's just been a quick tutorial on how to put this back together. Um, if you're buying a sniper rifle, if you have any plans to buy it, you got to watch this video, guys. Because I'm not going to explain this again. Um, if you're going to buy it, I'll send you this link. It'll be like, make sure you watch this. Watch it. Take my word for it. Now, I'm just going to point out one thing. When you want to put it back together, I recommend you do this. You'll see that type of decline. Put that in first. And then just manage it in. It won't work unless you do that. If you just try to go straight down. Also, get nuts. If you just go try to go straight down, it's not going to work. Put this part in, like, as you're sliding it in, go down. It's going to take some fidgeting, but you'll realize that it goes right down after a while. Um, also, if it helps, and some people, like, some people it does. You know, just put this up, and some sometimes it helps. But if you put that up and put it in, it's not going to do anything, because that's just free moving. You know, it's, you'll notice it doesn't affect any triggers thing down there at all, and such for to tighten. And, uh, yeah. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Also, common parts come loose are this. I have to tighten the Allen screw because you'll see sometimes it's, you'll be playing and those like get a little hard to pull. Tighten that Allen screw right there puts pressure on this means it's easier to pull. And this whole bottom assembly part is tighten that Allen screw. This is it's really rare if this comes loose, but it, it is possible. Thanks a lot, guys. Airsoft man one two three three eight. Subscribe, rate, comment, blah blah blah. Who cares? And um, yeah, if you're gonna buy a sniper rifle or interested. Watch this video first, because I don't want to explain it again.